This is Daily Tech Now, where we cover breaking news in the tech industry every day. In today's news, Snapchat launches an AI chatbot powered by OpenAI. Google Chrome adds a new Zoom feature, making reading on mobile easier. Twitter has another round of layoffs and more. Snapchat has announced the launch of its chatbot named MyAI, which is powered by OpenAI's ChatGBT technology. The chatbot will initially only be available to Snapchat Plus subscribers for $3.99 a month, but the company aims to make it available to all of its 750 million monthly users eventually. According to Snap CEO Evan Spiegel, the company's goal is to make AI chatbots a part of everyday life for more people. The main difference between MyAI and ChatGPT is that Snap's version is more restricted in what it can answer. Snap's employees have trained it to adhere to the company's trust and safety guidelines and not give responses that include swearing, violence, sexual exploitive content, or opinions about dicey topics like politics. At launch, MyAI is essentially a fast mobile-friendly version of ChatGPT inside Snapchat. However, Snap plans to keep tuning the chatbot as more people use it and report inappropriate answers. My AI's profile page looks like any other Snapchat user's profile, suggesting that it is meant to be another friend inside of Snapchat for users to hang out with rather than just a search engine. While larger players in the space like Google and Meta have not yet released competing products to the public, Snap's implementation of generative AI treats it more like a persona and could save the company some headaches. Snap is also one of the first clients of OpenAI's new enterprise tier called Foundry, which allows companies to run its latest GPT 3.5 model with dedicated compute designed for large workloads. Snap plans to use the data gathered from its chatbot to inform its broader AI efforts. In other news, Google Chrome is introducing a new page zoom feature for mobile users. This feature is particularly helpful for those who have trouble reading on their mobile devices as it allows them to increase the size of text, images, and videos. The feature is available on Chrome Beta version for mobile devices and can increase the zoom level up to 300% while preserving the original formatting of the page. Users can enable the feature by going to Settings Accessibility and adjusting the zoom level based on their preferences. Apart from this new feature, Google is introducing other updates, such as a new freehand annotation feature for Android and Google Drive. This feature will allow users to write or highlight important text on PDFs using their finger or a stylus and enable them to hide, undo, delete, or save a copy of the PDF with annotations. Additionally, Google is bringing noise cancellation to Google Meets to more Android devices, adding new spring and basketball themed emoji combinations to Gboard's Emoji Kitchen, and adding more accessibility features such as live captions for real-time meeting transcription. Google is also testing a new version of Chrome called Chrome Beta that includes several new features, such as an improved compatibility with websites, improved performance, stronger encryption, and improved authentication. By testing the Chrome beta, users can experience all the new features and security improvements before they are available in the stable version of the browser. Over the weekend, Twitter announced another round of layoffs that affects around 10% of its workforce or 200 employees. This comes as part of CEO Elon Musk's effort to trim costs and streamline operations since taking over the company in November of 2021. The latest layoffs include prominent figures such as Hardor Thorlison, founder of a design studio acquired by Twitter, and Esther Crawford, a product manager who oversaw Twitter's Blue with verification subscription service and the company's forthcoming payment platform. Crawford's departure was particularly surprising, as she has been a prominent figure at the company and has been vocal in supporting Musk's effort to make changes. However, the rollout of Twitter Blue has been troubled, with the company facing criticism for allowing anyone to get verified for a fee, resulting in a wave of fake accounts posing as major companies. Additionally, advertisers cut their Twitter spending just as the company needed ad revenue to support Musk's leverage buyout. Musk's leadership style has also come under scrutiny, with some criticizing his lack of empathy for the affected employees. The announcement of layoffs was made on Saturday night, and the company disabled its internal messaging service, making it difficult for employees to communicate with each other. Meanwhile, Musk was tweeting about unrelated topics, including accusation of media bias and support for the creator of the Dilbert comic strip. Overall, the layoffs represent another step in Musk's effort to reshape Twitter into a more efficient and profitable company, but they have also raised concerns about his leadership style and the impact on the morale of the remaining employees. Finally, Tesla has put a temporary stop on new installations of its full self-driving beta software in the US and Canada due to a safety recall issued at the request of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The recall affects almost 363,000 Tesla Model S's, Model 3's, Model X, and Model Y vehicles that are equipped with full self-driving. 
Tesla owners who have purchased the $15,000 full self-driving add-on won't be able to get access to it until the automaker issues an over-the-air software update for which no timeline has been provided. Those who already have full self-driving installed and active can continue to use the software but won't see any new features until the issues identified by the NHTSA are addressed. The full self-driving beta software has been flagged for causing vehicles to break traffic laws and make risky maneuvers. And Tesla CEO Elon Musk has long promised that full self-driving will eventually become a fully autonomous system where the car can drive itself with no driver present. This has been your daily tech news and please subscribe and come back tomorrow for more.